I'm a third year PhD student and although in third year you do have quite a lot of presentations, it's nice to present in a, in a setting where it's not chemistry, which is my area of course, and presenting in an area that's not chemistry gives you a bit more of a challenge, well for me anyways, because I'm, I can't explain things in the same way I normally do. So it's nice, it's a bit of a challenge, I like a challenge. I design uh, and make platinum-based platinum anti-cancer drugs and essentially they're a bit different than the usual ones because they're platinum-based of course but at the same time they're also very active but unfortunately because of the side effects you have to try and find new ones all the time and that's pretty much what I do and the final step for my PhD which is the year I have left is to test them on cancer cells so hopefully it goes well. It's very important because 8 million people a year die of various types of cancer and even if only one of my drugs end up going forward to the final step which is testing of course on humans then at least I've maybe helped somebody somewhere in the world. So it's, it's quite an important area. I guess I suppose the reason into the showcase was to basically show off the fact that I do have a very exciting and interesting area of research and I find it very interesting and I'm obviously very enthusiastic about it otherwise I wouldn't have done it but I, I, I like to show that there is various different areas of research in UCC and I like to think that my area is very very important. I guess I learned that communicating to different people um, outside of the area of chemistry is a lot more difficult than I thought it was but at the same time it gives you a bit more free roam because you can explain it in a nice way as opposed to going re really into depth about the actual chemistry of it and I got a few laughs today and I think that was kind of fun as well so I really enjoyed it, it was fun. First of all, it's good to, to practice your communication skills, which is very important because there's no point doing research if you can't tell anybody what you're doing. And at the same time, industry is never going to take up on your research or you're never going to make any money out of it for your career unless you actually communicate to somebody outside of your area. And I guess in that case, this is probably one of the best places to actually do that and the best places to practice that. And even if you don't get to the final, it's worth doing because even a small bit of communication can help you a long way.